Hi hey folks, uh, this is the second video on uh, vectors that I'm doing. Um, this one's just showing how you can show the direction of a vector using two different ways. One is called the true bearing and the other one is called a quadrant bearing. Okay, We're going to try both of these ways of uh, talking about direction. Um, so if you look at this, if you look at this uh, picture right here, this diagram, um, Remember, this is not the same thing as when we're talking about angles in standard position, where we had an angle rotating around in this direction counterclockwise. Okay, that was angles in standard position. Um, this is not like that. In this case, north is considered zero degrees. Okay, east is 90 degrees. South is 180 west is 270 degrees and all the way back around of course is 360 degrees so a true bearing when you're talking about direction when it comes to vectors is you're going to start at 0 degrees work your way around 0, 90, 180, 270 and right here you can figure that out by going uh, well I can see there's 60 degrees right here so I'd, take, I'd say 360 degrees and then back it up 60 degrees. This is at 300 degrees, and that's why they wrote that in right there. So on a true bearing, you just write 300 degrees. Okay. Um, let's see if I can erase some of this stuff here. Let's say we had a line. Let's see, I'll write it in blue. Let's say we had a line right over here. There we go. Let's say we had a line right here, um, like that. Okay, so you'd start here and you'd move here and it looks like about 45 degrees, doesn't it? It looks like 45 degrees. With true bearing, the way that they write it is they write it like this. It's always three digits, so it's 0, 4, 5, or 0, 4, 5, or 45 degrees, but they put a 0 in the front. Okay, if it was here, it would be, let's say, oh, well, let's just say it was, <laughs> I should really get rid of my last drawing or it's going to be confusing. There we go. Let's say it was somewhere over here. Okay, that would be 90. Let's say that's like 120 degrees right here. You just write 120 degrees. Do you see how true bearing is pretty natural? It's something that you might have guessed how you do as long as you know where to start. In this case, it's zero degrees. And this from here to here, let's say, is 120 degrees. That's our true bearing. There's another way to show this, and it's called a quadrant bearing. Okay, a quadrant bearing, we're going to be using north, east, south, and west. Um, and to start off, you're always going to talk about, like for example, let me just do this. Let's say we had this here. Which direction do you think that's going? If I didn't have a degree to talk about, I just wanted to talk about which direction it's going. Well, you would say that line is going, if it's halfway between north and east, it is going northeast. Notice we never say east north. Do you, do you notice we never say that? It's always northeast. I'm sure that's familiar to you, right? Uh, what about a line that was cutting right down here? Do we call that east south or do we call that southeast? Exactly. We call it southeast. Okay? So north and south are always going to be the first thing you write. Either north or south is going to go first. And then the east and the west part are going to come second. Okay, if we had a line right here, we would say that is southwest, not west-south. Okay, it's just it's just the way we write it. So with quadrant bearing, if you have something that's exactly right, right in between these two, you can say it's going southwest and you're done. Just like if something is going directly east, let's say, you just say east. It's going east. You don't have to say 90 degrees east or anything like that. Just east. However, when you get a, a line, um, like the one shown here, for example, it moved all the way around 300 degrees. Okay, And what you do is you start by writing the north part, because it is moving north. Notice we don't go north, we don't go west north, we always say northwest, right? So you start with the north. And then 
Actually, I'll write that in yellow so it's a little brighter. Okay, so it's going north. How far off of north is it going? How far off of the north line is it going? That's kind of what you ask yourself. Well, it's going 60 degrees. And is it going east or west? It's going west. So you're always going to have things like you're used to writing, north, west, but you're going to say how far, how many degrees off of that north are you going? And in this case, 60 degrees. Okay, let's try drawing something else. Pretend that other one is not there. Actually, why don't I just draw, draw one right here. I'll just use this one instead. Um, let's say we had a line that was right here. Okay, and let's say this was 20 degrees. And if you wanted to talk about the whole line from here to here, that's actually 200 degrees. So the true bearing, like we just talked about over here, would be 200 degrees. But the quadrant bearing is going to be 200 degrees, so that means this is 20. And so what you do is you say, okay, it's going south, so south, and it's going 20 degrees off of south towards west, southwest. Okay? And that's how you would write that. Okay, I don't know if I should do one more example. I might as well. Um, doesn't take long. Let's try one. Let's try one right here. Let's say this was 80 degrees. The true. Let's say the true bearing was 080 degrees or 80 degrees. What would the quadrant bearing be? Well, it would be north, 80 degrees, east. It's in this quadrant, northeast here. If we're in this quadrant, we say southeast. If it's in so northeast, and this one it's southeast. Over here, it's southwest, and over here is northwest. Okay? And you're just telling, you're just talking about the distance, the angle between the vertical line and the line that you've, and the vector that you've drawn. Okay? Um, just for a little more practice, let's look at this one here. And if a true bearing is 80 degrees, if it's 80 degrees, Let's say it's right there. What would the quadrant bearing be? We just did this. It would be north. And you can push pause and try and answer these questions really quickly on your own. Then just push play and see if I come up with the same answer as you. It doesn't mean you're wrong if we're different. It just means that one of us made a mistake. It's possible it was me. But in this case here, I'm just going to write north 80 degrees west. Okay? And we can keep filling, we can keep filling this out now. Did I just say west? See, there's my mistake right there. Did you catch me? It's north, 80 degrees, east. North, east, south, and west. Okay? The next one. Um, south, 60 degrees east. Okay, so that's on this side right here. We know that it's 60 degrees between that vertical line and here. Okay? So, what would the true bearing be? Well, the true bearing would be the angle from here to here. Well, 180 minus 60 degrees is 120 degrees. So that should be 120 degrees. You agree? Okay, so far so good. 230 degrees. Now, this is getting too full here, so let's, let's quickly do this. 230 degrees. Wow, that would be somewhere in here, okay? 230 degrees all the way, whoops, 230. So that means this inside here would be 230 minus 180. It's about 50 degrees, I believe. So 230 minus 180, because I know all the way down here is 180. It's one, sorry, that should be 50 degrees there. Good. 230 minus 180 is 50. So let's write it in. Great, I lost my other answers. Um, Let's see. I'm just going to write the other ones in. I shouldn't have done that. I'm trying to fill this in and then I destroyed all the other answers. Okay, this one here. We're going south. And this time we know we're in this quadrant, so it's southwest. So south, 50 degrees west. Okay? Let's move on to the next question. Um, north, 
20 degrees west. So north, 20 degrees west. Northwest is in this quadrant, and it's 20 degrees right here. All right, so that angle would be 360, subtract 20 is what? That's right, 340 degrees. Okay, and last one, straight south. Well, we already know that straight south on a quadrant bearing is 180 degrees, it's straight down. So you just write 180 degrees there. Which one do you prefer? I actually kind of like this one better, but that's just my own bias. It's up to you, and that is the end of this video. Now you know what quadrant bearing and true bearing are. Take care.